In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Playmaker and Smooth Moves together. So first off, we'll just show you, I've set up a night animation and a main camera. To start, we will select the night, make sure it's on there, and create a state machine. We're going to have several states, so the first state will be standing. Create a new state. Walking forward, and another state. Walking backward. Now let's create some vents. We're going to use the left and right arrow keys, so we'll have left arrow down, left arrow up, right arrow down. And right arrow up. Let's call our state machine stand walk. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some transitions. On the standing, we'll have two transitions the left arrow down and right arrow down. And right arrow will make it walk forward. So to make it go back, we'll need to have right arrow up backward to be left arrow up. Let's go ahead and connect these. All right, so now our states are all connected. Now for the standing state, we're going to go in and add an animation. Now instead of using these animations, you can use these and it will reference the animation component but you won't get all the power of smooth moves in that you can't switch textures, add colliders, uh, user triggers, anything like that. So I've created a set of scripts, custom actions, under the smooth moves category. So if you click on that, you have pretty much all you have in your animation uh, with an extra one of set animation frames per second if you want to use that. So let's go ahead and add the play animation. And we can reference the stand animation. The defaults are fine, those will work. So once he's standing, then we want to look for inputs. So we'll add some inputs, get key down, and let's make it the right arrow key, and we'll send right arrow down. And we'll add another one, another get key down. And we'll make it the left arrow. and send it left arrow down. Okay, so that's set. Now we want to do walking forward. So first thing we're going to do is go back to smooth moves and we want to set the animation speed. This wrapper actually normalizes the frames per second. The animation is stored in frames per second so the speed of the animation component is in frames per second. So if the standing is at 10 frames per second the component, the animation component would be at 10 frames per second. So the speed will normalize that for you to one. So we're going to use the speed. And let's use the walk animation. And we'll set it to one. That way when he's going forward, it'll be going a positive number. And it'll be the same speed that we set in the animation editor. We need one other thing on this, and that's the input of get key up. This will be the right move it down here. This will be the right arrow key. And we'll send it right arrow up. And let's go ahead and do the walking backward. Same thing, we'll go back to smooth moves. We want to set animation speed. And we want to set the walking. This time we'll do it negative one. And we'll go back to, I'm sorry, Ah, I forgot on this one, we have to add the animation itself. So we want to play animation. Let's add that right here. Play walk. These settings should be okay, it'll just blend. So go back here and add the animation. Walk. Blending is fine, and we want to add an input on there. 
a get key up. This will be the left arrow key. And we'll send it left arrow up. So now when he goes backwards, it'll put the animation in reverse and play it and then wait for the left arrow key up. So let's go ahead and play this and see if it works. Okay, so he's just standing there in the stand animation state. So if we hit the right arrow key, we go to the walking forward animation, and we release it, we go back to the standing animation. If we hit the left arrow key, he walks backwards, and you see the animation is actually running in reverse. And if we release the key, go back to standing again. So that's working good. Now what we'll do to add the attacking animation is we'll right click and add a new FSM component. We'll create a new state. Let's call this state attack. State machine, sorry. And this state, the first state, will be called waiting to attack. And let's create an event of A key. Sorry, down. So now we want to get the key down, get the A key for attack, and fire A key down. Create a transition, A key down, create a state, attack, create a transition, and finished. And let's join this here, and this will go back here when it's done attacking. So we'll just fire off once. All right, now in the attack state, we want to go back to smooth moves and do a play animation. And we'll use attack. And on this one, this is the critical part. We want to stop the same layer. Since we're mixing the attack on top of walking and standing, we don't want to stop the, excuse me, all layers. We just want to stop the same layer. Blending is fine, but we don't need it since it's just playing uh, immediately. Now when it's finished, we want to finish, so we'll go back to waiting to attack again. All right, so let's go ahead and play this. Now if I hit the A key, he attacks while standing. And if I'm walking, he'll also attack while walking. And we can go backwards too, and do the same thing. So that's working. So let's add one more state machine. And we'll call this blink. We'll make this state waiting to blink. Here we'll put a random float in two seconds and four seconds, let's say. Let's create a variable. Call it blink time. And we'll store this random into blink time. Then we'll go down to time and put in a wait. use the variable that we stored. Let's create an event we call to blink and we'll call that. So it'll wait for between two and four seconds then it'll blink to go to blink state. So let's add a transition to blink, add a state, we call it blink, add a transition, eh, not a state, add a transition finished, go back, just link those two together. Now in the blink state, we want to go to smooth moves, and we want to play, we want to play the blink animation, stop same layer, same thing as the attack, we don't need to blend, when we finish we'll go back to finish, and this will just play the blink on top of everything every two to four seconds. So let's go ahead and play. You see now we have three states going, when he blinks, it goes to blink, then back again. And we can do this while walking and attacking as well. So it's how to blend and use state machines in Playmaker. Now to put these actions in, you just need to drag the smooth moves actions into the Playmaker actions folder, wherever you have that. And you can download this set of actions from the website, from echo17.com, or from the support thread on Unity.